Hey there, keen traders. It was a rather dull day in the markets today, and we could probably see this type of trading for the remainder of the week. Um, Thursday, of course, is, uh, well, actually, I can't say, of course, Thursday is Thanksgiving in the United States. Markets are closed, and most participants will take Friday off also. Um, and I think it's a half mark, a half day in the markets tomorrow, so we'll have to watch out for uh, very thin trading opportunities. And really, the only thing I have going right now is the Euro USD, and this is a uh, kind of driving me nuts but let's take a look at it uh, the euro USD you can see it's uh, 135.54 my stop is up above this is actually at this 135.80 level the hop the high here uh, this pair hasn't really been able to get any momentum uh, to the uh, to the downside in the short term we can see that uh, entered the trade of the 55th pullback which was right about the high here I think uh, I don't remember exact my exact entry I think it's 134. Uh, actually, I think it's over here. I think it's 134.97, if correct. Uh, so the um, the pair, though, has continued to consolidate, created another higher high today. I mean, ultimately, it looks like the cross wants to go higher. But what's holding this pair right here, right now? You can see it's a tug of war. You, uh, we have the 50 fib of this pullback here. Uh, at 135.62, 135.62 has been capping the price action. So whenever we get up here, some people are shorting, and what's keeping it going from going down lower? It's the 50 fib from this push down lower. So we have uh, the price action basically capped from this 135.62 and 132.98. And I haven't even looked at this. If we want to look up to the top side here, I can guarantee that there's some kind of range there that's holding it. Um, uh, that would be 0.382 fib. Though it might not all be fib, there's probably some sort of moving average in here that is capping the price action at the current time. And it's a tug of war between this 135.54 and the 135 um, and uh, the bottom of the range. We've had little, 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 little movement, and I mean, we're basically going to have another inside day, but it is favoring a move higher. I mean, right now I'm not too confident about the position I have in that pair, but I'm going to write it out. Let's see what happens. Um, it's the only thing you really can do, right? Uh, so we're going to have to uh, keep an eye on the uh, keep an eye on this trade, and basically, actually, we don't have to keep an eye on anything. It stops at 135.80. We're looking for a break back below this level at 134.06 to add 134.07 to add on, and looking for a continued push down below the 132 level. If we get above this 135.80 level. Uh, I'm going to say all hands are on deck. We're going to we could see a push back higher all the way up to that 138.30 level at least until the end of the year. I don't see a drifting in this sort of tight consolidation for the remainder of the year. Uh, the Great Britain USD, same thing. This is a very compelling. I know I've said a million times that I'm not going to get in this pair until we get a break of this uh, 162.50, 163.11. Well, yeah, let's do that on there. That 162.50. Uh, wind's really howling outside. 162.50 and the um, 163.30 level. And until we get a break of that level, uh, or the bottom at 158.75, this guy is about the definition of range bound. So I'm very tempted at this moment to uh, go short the pair. Just looking, go short the pair with a uh, stop up here. What would be the high there? 162.39. Uh, you know, very little risk here. Let's see what the 50 fib on this would be. 50 fib on this pullback. Hard to see on this, but uh, I will increase it for you. Is that 161.88? So if we get up another four pips, that could be a good opportunity to go short there. Just looking for a ride down in the rest of the range. I know if we looked at the four-hour charts, I mean this is about as clear-cut as that you're going to see a change at this level as you can get. I mean this is uh, <clears throat> about a very, 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 very uh, bearish candle, and we could have just you, know, you can see it just rode down through the uh, through the beginning of the year and now we're testing the 50 fit beginning of the week and now it's testing that 16188 level so um, thinking about that I'll, I'll put it out if I actually uh, end up doing that trade and if I did obviously the target would just simply be to the bottom of the range around 159 uh, the risk reward is definitely there so you'd be risking what 88 uh, was the top there 40 risking about 50 pips uh, much about 55 pips and you're looking for a move that would be 250 pips um, 
I'm just hesitant because the pound has seemed very strong. Euro doesn't seem to want to go down, and it is going to be thin markets. And I'm not really sure at this moment what data we have coming out. Uh, we'll take a look. All right, so let's look at the other major. The Aussie USD, you can see, still breaking down lower. Uh, any move up towards that 192.90, I said, would be a good shorting opportunity, but it did move up right to the 50 fib at 192 and quickly reversed back down. Almost 100 pips, actually, in that move today. Um, 100 pips in that move today. So uh, very nice, nice, nice technical trading right there. Uh, it's nice to see that. And the target on this move, I guess, would be 192.50, 197.50 was the top of that. So let's just say make that 193, so 450 pips down. Uh, so you'd see the target's basically around that 88.50 level, which is the bottom of the range. Uh, if we look at the New Zealand USD, you can see this is still fighting bubbling around this uh, zone. <clears throat> need a clear break of that 82 at one or uh, 8.82 or 0 0.8160 level to get a push down lower and then you'd look for a move down to the trend line. Yen called it yesterday. Didn't have the momentum back below that 101.50. As I call it, I didn't make any action on it because it's not that actionable. But uh, now that the pair is back below this level, we can see that we could see a push back down towards the um, bottom of this trend line of course it's all going to be based on interest rates in this pair so you have to keep your eyes open for that great britain yen same thing was looking heavy at this 164.10 level or at 164.50 level and now it's heading back but uh the, i don't want to really it's a small frame i don't know uh but you can see that um it's at multi-year record highs, so it's not. I don't think it knows what it wants to do right now, so we'll have to watch that. The Euro JPY just sitting there in consolidation, probably following the lead of the uh, the Euro itself. Great Britain odd. You can see that this pair just wants to continue to go higher, and um, every time the odd keep, the Aussie keeps dropping, this pair is going to keep it as long keeps going higher as long as the pound doesn't. Uh, con get its momentum in the lower term. And the Great Britain New Zealand uh, closed that out for a while, walking I think 20, 26 pips today. Excuse me. <coughs> ah, excuse me, thank you. Ah, well nobody said thank you, but I guarantee one of you said God bless you. All right, so then we can see that the uh, pair, pair moved up um, Pair moved up back uh, above that 97.50 level, real consolidation there, so not really sure what to do on that pair at the moment. Uh, it looks like it wanted to go lower, then it looks like it wants to go higher. I guess as long as New Zealand falls, it will continue to fall. <laughs> Bless me again. All right, so the USD Swiss franc, you can see this thing is just climbing this line lower. And and there's, it's, it's uh, I don't know what to say or do in this pair at this exact moment. I mean, you can see we had a break of this trend line here. Uh, trend line here we had a new low so of course I would favor going short at that point but we're sitting right on this freaking trend line so I'm not going to jump in short at that pair at that point but if you had it probably well I'm just going to guess without knowing probably be around that 91 level and you'd be sitting right there right now looking for a continued break lower it's not a bad hedge if you're going to go against the uh, euro USD and just try to get a break even um, but we'll have to see. I mean, we could very easily just consolidate. I wouldn't be surprised if we do a stop and run for that 135.8 level. But we could easily just consolidate over the next three days in these pairs. Let's take a look at the uh, the the open the layouts that we had in the. Uh, in the New Zealand crosses, one being the uh, Great Britain New Zealand, the trade setup I was looking at. Uh, actually, I guess the trade I could have gone short at that. That 50 fib was around the 198 level, which I uh, and we ended up getting here. But the touch of the 50 fib around, I think it was 197.87, if I remember correctly, uh, shot down, made it almost 50 pips, and then um, it rolled over. So nothing lost there in uh, going moving the trade to break even. I mean, getting the 26 pips in that cross at the, at the uh like we did but that was i was very hesitant again that trade uh because that was a hell of a hell of a comeback there you can see the pair was all the way down at the uh 95 50 level and it went up 250 pips to get back up to where we were the fib was to uh, go short so uh that was uh quite Quite, quite inspiring. The Great Britain Oz, same thing. I just didn't want to stay with that because the direction seemed unclear. I know I said I was going to look at it going into Europe. Uh, and the the trend is still higher, but basically I think we're in still consolidation in that pair in the short term. And the yen pair has uh, decided to take the day off, taking out, getting some 
uh, celebrating the holidays, I guess, a little bit early, but you can see we just had consolidation in the euro. 55th trades haven't been working that well the last uh, month or so. Uh, still profitable this month. Uh, I think it's up 300 and. 67 pips, which isn't bad, but most of that comes off just a few trades. I guess with the 26 today, we're going to be up close to 400 again. Um, and that's it, everybody. Uh, I'll put the trades out uh, before the Asian Open, and we'll look at today's setups. But we could be in for really slow markets. Still in the stacker trade in the Euro USD, and thinking about the Great Britain pound, I'll definitely post out what I decide to do. All right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, see you. See you in the future.